and welcome back to Flexible Games, where we are playing Fortress Craft Evolved. Alright, well, as you can see, I have done some serious overhauling on my base. Uh, the flooring is all changed. It's reinforced wood. Um, getting rid of the rock and snow that's down there is advisable if you are updating to the new versions. As Mr. Spiderbot there, his laser can actually um, destroy the terrain. He can destroy dirt, he can destroy snow, and just regular rock. So any snow, any dirt I had, I've been, I've been uh, changing to give me a nice wooden floor. And then this is rough hewn rock. And I'm not sure if he can destroy that yet or not, so this is kind of a test. So my first attack, I will see if he can actually hurt that stuff. As you can see in the distance over there, we have something, something over there. And it's in all four corners. We will go check that out, probably next episode, show that off. It's a very interesting marker that's over there that's doing all of that. For now, if you noticed, I've got chargeable explosives in my inventory. And they are all charged to certain levels. So I've got one that has very little charge, one that has a lot, and one that has just a little bit. How you charge these, you build them, you put them uh, by some power, and they just sit and charge. The charge levels are exponential so charge level one is at a hundred power two is at a thousand uh three is at ten thousand and a hundred thousand and then so on and so on all the way up to something like 10 billion is charge level 10 um and the explosion radius increases for every level so it's it gets pretty large what we're going to be using them for, we don't need a super huge amount of blast. So I left some small ones, and I have a really small one because I want to scan what's in the center. And I believe we had one here, and it was off in which direction? I think it might have been off in this direction over here. Uh, maybe not. Let's do a ping. Um, ping known. Uh, let's see. I know. I know ping colored will do it. I just that just uses so much power that I try not to use that too much. And it uses. It leaves like a little ghost image there's a lot of copper right there some uh, let's see I'm not seeing it but I'm pretty sure it was off in one of these directions let's uh, head over here and check it out Uh, I know it's around here somewhere. As I ran into it and I was looking for iron and lithium. Came down here with a lithium ping. And there, there it is. Yep. Okay, so... Chargeable explosives, you want to get, you know, if you have a pretty powerful one, it really doesn't matter. However, the ones I have are not very powerful, and I, I, I want to crack it open without destroying the hive mind that's inside. So, let's see if I can pick... The one that's the small one. So there's one, there's this is a small one here. 
And I double, double hit that. Nice. Oh, I jumped over it. Oh, man, really? Thank you. All right, so we have one chargeable explosive. Let's place it, and it's, it has a charge level of one, which I think is a five radius. So I want to kind of put this like right there. One, two, three, this hopefully will crack it open and not destroy anything. So let's set it off. You hit shift E to light it. And there we go. All right, we were able to crack it open without destroying it. There is the hive mind that's inside. And I want to scan it. There we go. So, now that we've scanned it, we don't want it anymore. So let's let's get rid of it once and for all. I want to take the medium one. I'm going to slap it right on its face. And uh, we're going to destroy it. It's, uh, oh, Jesus. And another train. It's crazy. I try to record, like, between trains, and it rarely, rarely happens. So let's see. We have a good amount. We are going to explode this little guy. Boom! And we get a drop. We get lots of drops, actually. Ugh. A lot of pristine stuff and a legendary drop. So we didn't drop. I mean, it didn't shower us with, with drops. But that's okay. I mean, it's it really is. We have a lot of other ones that we can destroy. And it looks like we've got some uh, organic rock that I missed over here. You want to keep this stuff around. It's used in a few very useful recipes. Um, I don't remember seeing this organic rock before. I don't know if this, like, recently spawned or what. All right. So we've got that. Let's go back up to our base and figure out... If we can do a little research. I did do the metal alloy research. And I've got that ready to collect. So that is ready to go. And we have just a little bit left here. And you notice my build gun with the new beta version. The build gun... Watch, watch the uh, head of the build gun when I launch this. See, the build gun, the head of it, is actually launched out now when you use the grappling hook, which is kind of cool. All right, let's go research. Unknown material, hive core. Excellent. And we have... More research. We have the metal alloys. Let's collect it. And let's see if that opens up anything. Be build gun V2. Excellent. The toxic particle filter, which we need to progress even further, is excellent. The steel cutter head is something that we desperately need. Crystal Cutter Head, we'll take that too, why not? Uh, plasma Head Charger is also something that we're going to want to take a look at. So let's take that as well. A lot of stuff opened up with that. So let's look at our projects. Advanced Logistics is something I want to do um, to get that out of the way. Get the robot arm and get some of the other stuff that we need. Advanced Defense is an absolute must 
We're absolutely going to want that. So I, between episodes, I built, if you look at my research pods here, I have in, in this thing, I had 75 basics, I had 15 intermediates, and so the advanced logistics is 25 basics and 15 intermediates. So this would bring this down to 50 and use up the intermediates. And then the advanced defense is 35 ultimate and 35 advanced, which I actually have now. So I have both of these researches ready to go. It's just a matter of power. And you can see I added a second, or actually technically it's a fourth, bank of power gen and batteries on my research station, as well as some solar power. Solar power is excellent during the daytime. It's very, very good. So let's put these back in choose the advanced logistics and send her off that will start to use the power it will start to actually generate the power and slowly build up it it will actually churn through this pretty fast there's enough power and it's daytime so two really good things going for us there down below here I've actually cleared out a good space. What I'm thinking, and here, here's my thoughts. What I'm thinking is um, I'll have power going down this wall, and then I'll have ores and ingots coming up this wall. So like the iron, some of the other ingots that are closer to the surface, I'll bring up and smelt, and I want to smelt down in that room down there. The other ingots that are very deep, um, I'll actually smelt down there and then bring up the ingots and be able to store them right up here. Um, I want as few lines coming from deep, deep down coming up here as possible because of how expensive they are. So I'm gonna run a line for tubes, a, a conveyor tubes, a transport pipe, run one of these lines all the way up from from the nickel and titanium area all the way up here and these can actually transfer stuff really fast so if I'm smelting down there whoops if I'm smelting down there then I can just bring up the ingots and save a lot of tubes instead of bringing you know, three different banks of tubes up for all the different ores, I can just bring up the ingots and that saves quite a lot. All right, the build gun. Let's see what it takes to build it. I want the updated build gun. You notice my, my grapple is green right now. Yes, I know that the build gun is there. Um, the grapple is green, so let's see if I can actually build the new build gun. I can. I have built up the materials, so watch my build gun when I craft it. There it is, the new build gun. And now it went from green to blue. So now it is blue. And it's just a blue build gun. It's better, it's a little more powerful. It's all good. And let's look at the other very important, very important update is this toxic particle filter, which we absolutely have to have in order to survive the toxic caverns. So there's the build gun. Oh, I actually have a pristine stinger. Awesome. And the hive brain matter. This is that legendary drop that came to us from destroying that hive. And we will want to put that in the researcher. Look at the power. Drained all of that power already. <laughs> uh, crazy, crazy amount of power these things take. So you can actually do. That high brain matter you can put in here, there's this switch mode button, 
and you can actually put the hive brain matter and get some research points out of it. So it's a little little extra thing to get some research points. Pretty handy. So we have one more explosive. I'm not quite sure exactly where I want to use it. Um, there are some more hives that I've run across. Let's show, I'm going to show you the show you the lithium extension I did. Do you remember that lithium vein, that millions long, big lithium vein I found? Well, I dug around and did some work on where that was in relation to the world. And I discovered that, you know, if you go down this path, this is the lithium that I'm mining right now. This is that lithium vein that I started with. Oh, I hate when it does that. This is that lithium vein I've been mining, and we're doing pretty good. It's not exactly, you know, it's it's got quite a bit left, you know, but not enough to really to really last for the you know the remainder of the game or even close to that so i did i did the digging around and i looked and it's actually not that far away if you look that's the lithium vein that we're mining now and this this far in is the next one only it's deeper so if you flow if you fling yourself down here you've got this lithium vein right here That is a doozy, 2.2 million lithium. Well, right next to that is an iron vein. That is 2.5 million. And I happen to know there's a, there's a tin vein that's right over there that's 1.1 million. So this little area right here is very lucrative. We got iron, we've got lithium. We also have that massive iron vein that's further up that I actually want to, I'm going to want to mine before I touch, before I'm going to need this iron, just because it's not as deep as this iron and it's a little easier to get up to the surface. And in between here, this little guy right here, this coal vein is huge. 712,000 coal, which is a lot of coal. Hopefully I won't be working on coal too much longer. But you never know when you're going to need coal. All right. Well, we blew up a hive. We got some legendary drops. We got a new build gun. We've got the toxic particle filter that will allow us to go even deeper. And next episode, I'm going to go and check out what it is that's all green and sparkly over in the sides there. So thank you for watching, and I will see you next time.